Angel. Hello, Mr. Angel. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Are you ready for your English? Yes, I'm ready, teacher. All right, let's make it happen. Welcome, Eduardo, to your English class. Welcome. I guess Thanks, everybody, teacher. everybody's coming in right now, so we still got a couple of minutes. Uh, can you tell me what information do you remember from yesterday's class? What do you remember about the topic that we were discussing yesterday? What can you tell me? Yesterday, we had a, we practice a simple present, simple present. Mm, simple present or present yeah. continuous? Uh, present continuous. Sorry. Present continuous. That's the forms sub subject plus verb to be plus verb mm -hmm. plus ing plus complement. That's correct. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to do a little review of the video from yesterday just to recap. Great. Let's get ready. We have the subject, it's you, the verb to be are, the verb plus ing, wearing, plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes they're wearing shoes. When forming negative statements, you will just add not after the verb to be. Let me give an example on the chart. They are not wearing shoes. They are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that'll be they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right hand side and and but are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's giving additional information. I'm wearing a coat but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting the information. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Talk about the activities that you, your family, your friends and coworkers are doing now. For example, I'm learning English. My wife is cooking dinner. My boss is working at his office. Give as many examples as you can and share them in our discussion forums. All right, so this is uh, basically an example of the activities that we were discussing yesterday. In yesterday's class, we were practicing the present continuous. Uh, can somebody give me a summary? Uh, Nancy Sanchez, can you give me a summary of using or when you use the present continuous? Yo, ahorita voy entrando a la clase, no entiendo. Ah, okay, okay, gracias. Eh, ¿Quién me puede dar un eh, summary, un resumen de para qué o en qué situación vamos a usar el presente continuo? ¿En qué tipo de casos? Ah, ahora sí entiendo. Es para hablar de, la, de algo que estamos haciendo ahorita mismo. 
correct. Por ejemplo, si yo le hago la pregunta a usted en este momento, yo le pregunto, what are you doing? ¿Qué me va a responder usted? I am speaking with you and I am learning English. Very good. So you use the present continuous with the be verb. I am. And the verb in the continuous tense. I am. He is. He is watching TV. Él está viendo televisión. She is cooking dinner. Ella está cocinando la cena. I am working. Yo estoy trabajando. He is reading a book. Él está leyendo un libro. So el present continuous es para expresar lo que tú o alguien más está haciendo en el momento que estás hablando. O sea, la, la acción está, se está haciendo. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, so this is information that we saw yesterday. So in today's class, we are going to continue. ¿Todos escribieron sus oraciones acá? Yes, teacher. Yes, sí, teacher. Okay. Eh, ¿Alguien tiene una consulta o pregunta acerca de este tema antes que continuamos? No. Not right now? Okay. Si tiene alguna pregunta, por favor me la hace. Now we are going to move on and we're going to look at section 4.11, knowledge check. 4.11, knowledge check. Uh, look at the first one, instructions. Look at the pictures and input the correct answer in blank. Follow the examples. Okay. We're going to do the first one together. So everybody, please listen to me. My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit. I'm wearing high heels. So ya dice, mi nombre es Claire. Estoy vistiendo un traje verde hoy. Estoy vistiendo... Eh, tacones altos también. O, or, I am wearing high heels too. So, lo puedes decir, I'm con el contraction, I'm. o I am con el full form. Lo puedes hacer abreviado o lo puedes hacer con, de manera completa. Instrucciones. Mire las fotos e ingrese la respuesta correcta en los espacios en blanco. Siga el ejemplo. El ejemplo es, My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing high heels too. O I am wearing high heels too. Está repetido. Lo mismo de aquí arriba está repetido acá. Solo que aquí está en inglés y aquí también está en inglés. Ok. Vamos a hacer... Las primeras juntos y después lo van a hacer ustedes en parejas. Vamos a hacer las primeras dos juntos. La primera dice. My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. ¿Qué voy a poner aquí? I. I. I am. I am, o oh, I'm, ¿verdad? Lo puedes poner con apóstrofe M, o lo puedes poner AM, I am, como tú deseas. Lo voy a poner yo en contraction, I'm. Acuérdense que cuando están haciendo el ejercicio, tienen que estar muy cuidadosos que su tablet o laptop, o lo que esté usando, eh, no le marque el tilde, sino que le marque el apóstrofe. Do you understand? ¿Listos? Ok. Vamos a trabajar en parejas para completar esta actividad. Les voy a dar 10 minutos. 
si termina, por favor, levante la mano para yo ir haciendo un census de los que ya terminaron. Cuando la, la mayoría haya terminado, eh, lo vamos a chequear juntos. Pero quisiera que levante la mano cuando ya terminó. Eso me va a señalar a mí que ya terminaron y que ya no necesitan más tiempo. Para los que van entrando, uh, hello, Carla. Vamos trabajando en la sección Knowledge Check, sección 411. Van a completar las oraciones con el complemento del verbo to be. I am, you are, we are, they are, she is, for example. ¿Estamos listos? Uh, ya empezó a llover. ¿Estamos listos? Sí. ¿Alguna pregunta en este momento sí. antes que empecemos? No. Ok. Nos vamos en parejas. Ready, let's go. Let's go. Bueno, usted ya lo empezó, ¿no? Ah, bueno. Entonces yo voy por... Eh... Vamos a ver, la número uno, ¿verdad? Hagámoslo así, vamos a ver. Aunque okay, ya me sale completo esta cosa. Eh, sí, la uno era... Eh... My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. Eh, sería, I am what? Wearing high heels too. Right, right. correcto. Eh, ahora usted la segunda, si gusta. It's raining, but I am not wearing a raincoat. Ok. I am not, o puede ser, I'm not wearing a raincoat. Uh -huh. Tercera. Y sería, aunque los números creo que están malos, ¿verdad? Dos sería otra vez, la dos. La dos, donde está un zapato. Ajá, Toshi y Noriko are wearing shorts and t-shirts. It's very sunny, but they are not wearing sunglasses. Correct. Phil is wearing a suit today. He is wearing a brown shirt. Okay. Uh, but he is not wearing a tie today. Mm -hmm. It's cold today, but Kathy eating waiting a coat she's waiting sweater sweater 
sweatshirt, gloves, and hat. She is not wearing boots. She is not, ¿verdad? She is not. Mm -hmm. She is not wearing boots. She is wearing sneakers. Uh -huh. okay. Estamos bien, pero todavía no entiendo cómo es que se pronuncia la palabra. Es wearing, wearing, waiting, waiting. Where, sí. eh, where es y como que fuera where de dónde lo veo yo así, pero ya unido es waiting, como que fuera sí. atrás. Waiting. Ajá, es así. que como waiting me suena como, como a espera, ¿no? Espera. No, wait, wait, espera. She waiting, mm -hmm. también cuando estoy, wearing. yo estoy esperando. Wearing, lo pronuncia el traductor, wearing. No, espera, ahorita eso es lo que estoy buscando. Mm -hmm. Wearing. Wearing, dice, wearing. wearing. Como que la A no la pronuncia, wearing. 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 Mm -hmm. wearing. Mm -hmm. Ajá, bien extraño. Wearing. Bueno, entonces estamos bien. Levantamos la mano, ¿verdad? Sí. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Veo que la mayoría ya terminó el ejercicio. Por ahí estaban levantando la mano. Eh, vamos a, pro, a chequear. Eh, vamos a hacer la número uno. It's raining, but I... Un voluntario. Volunteer, volunteer. Not, huh? It's raining, but I am not wearing a, a raincoat. Okay. Eso lo dijo... ¿Quién lo dijo? Eduardo. Yes. Very good, Eduardo. But I'm... I'm not wearing a raincoat. Okay. Uh, the next one, another volunteer. It's hot today. Fossi and Noriko are wearing shorts and t-shirts. It's very sunny, but they... What is the answer? What is the answer? Are not wearing. Very good. Aren't wearing is correct. Eduardo, excellent. Good job, Eduardo. So we got, it's very sunny, but they aren't wearing sunglasses. Now we're going to look at the following one. Number three, Phil is wearing a suit today. He, hmm? He is not wearing a tie today. Not wearing a brown shirt. No, no, no. Number three, number three. He's wearing a brown shirt. Number three. Wearing a brown shirt, but he's... He is not wearing. He's not wearing a tie today very good the next one it's cold today but kathy isn't wearing a coat she's she's wearing wearing a uh, shirt gloves and a hat Number four, she's wearing boots. Oh no, she, let me see. She's not wearing. She's not wearing boots. She's not wearing boots. She's 
Wearing sneakers. Oh, number four. What is number four? Ah, uh, we have to eliminate ah. Uh. Okay, there it is. All right, excellent. What is this? Number one. Let's check number one one more time. That's weird. This is in a, let me see. Okay. So the first one is, my name is Claire. I would like for everybody, please listen and repeat to the pronunciation. This is pronunciation practice. Listen and repeat to the pronunciation. My name is Claire. My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing high heels too. I'm wearing high heels too. It's raining, but I'm not wearing a raincoat. It's raining, but I'm not wearing a raincoat. It's raining, wearing a raincoat. Wearing a raincoat. It's hot today. Tosi and Noriko are wearing shorts and t-shirts. It's cold today. Today, Tosi and Noriko are wearing shorts and t-shirts. It's very sunny, but they aren't wearing sunglasses. It's very it's sunny, very but sunny, they are they are wearing sunglasses. But they, but okay. <clears throat> Let's look at the next one. Uh, Phil is wearing a suit. Repeat. Phil is, is wearing, wearing a suit, a suit, suit today. today. Today, he's wearing a brown shirt. He's, he's wearing, wearing a brown, brown shirt. shirt. But he's not wearing a tie today. But he's not, he's wearing, not a wearing, a today. wearing a tie today. It's cold today. It's cold, it's cold today. today. But Kathy isn't wearing a coat. But, but Kathy, Kathy is wearing, a, wearing, a, coat, wearing, wearing a, coat. a coat today. She's wearing sweatshirts. She's, She's wearing, wearing a sweatshirt. Gloves. Gloves. And, Gloves. and a hat. And a hat. Gloves and a hat. A hat. She's not wearing boots. She's, She's not, not wearing, boots. wearing boots. She's wearing sneakers. She's, She's wearing, wearing sneakers. 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 All right. So, since we already practiced the pronunciation of this activity, what I would like for us to do is move forward on lesson 4.12. By the end of this class, you will be able to form yes-no questions in the present continuous tense. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de formar preguntas con respuesta sí-no en el tiempo presente continuo. Listen, please. Los voy a poner a todos en silencio. 
Por favor, no le quite silencio a su micrófono. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes or no questions in the present continuous tense. Let's get started by looking at the examples of your screen. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. When forming yes or no questions in the present continuous tense, you need to follow this formula. Verb to be plus the subject plus uh, the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. So let's try to make sense of this. Are you, the verb is wear, and we add ing to that, that will be wearing a suit. And of course, we put a question mark there. Let's give another example. The verb to be is is, is she wearing boots? And of course, question mark at the end. So let's try to make questions now. I will give you the subject, the verb, plus some kind of compliment. And you need to write the questions. For example, I'm going to give you, mention the subject will be you, uh, the verb eat. And in this case, I'm going to say dinner is the compliment. So what I want you to do with that is to form a question. So let's take the the uh, the verb to be is the one that we need to use. So for the pronoun you, you're gonna say are. The pronoun is you or the subject. The verb is eat. We need to add ing to that to form it into a progressive form. Are you eating dinner? It's the complement. And of course, add the question mark there. So I'm going to give you more, and you should uh, make these questions as I explain. After you have finished, go ahead and share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so for this activity, guys, I would like for you to give me at least 10 examples here in the discussion forum. You're going to write here at the post. You're going to put where it says title. You're going to put your name. In my case, Ruben Santos, that's my name. And here you're going to write the question. For example, number one. I can say, for example, number one, are you, are you an English student? Are you an English student? And then you will respond, yes, I am or no i'm not that's it you don't have to put yes i am an english student no i'm not an english student that's not necessary simply yes i am or no i'm not <laughs> another example can be for example is your father a doctor you respond yes he is or 
No. He's not. <laughs> or you can say, for example, are you watching TV right now? You respond, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Okay? You're gonna, you can use my examples, but you have to write at least 10 examples. Question and response. Question and response. Va a escribir los dos, la pregunta y su respuesta respectiva. 10 preguntas con 10 respuestas utilizando el verbo to be. Así como las vimos en el Dinner. video. Any questions? Preguntas, preguntas. Consultas, no. levante la mano. No. no. Ok. Vamos a no. trabajar en pareja, pero cada quien lo tiene que hacer individualmente en su plataforma para que le refleje su progreso. Y nos fuimos. Sí, hagámoslo. Sí, bueno, ¿tienes una? ¿Te digo yo la primera? Eh, ahorita me voy a meter a la plataforma porque yo no puedo estar en las dos, en los dos lugares porque mi teléfono es algo lento. ¿Y cómo hacemos? ¿La hago yo? Empiezo. Hola Danilo. Hola, hola. No sé qué pasó, estaba con Nancy. Nos cambiaron. Hola. Hola, ¿me escucha? Sí, sí, ahora la escucho. Ok, me cambiaron, estoy contigo ahora. Correcto. Ok, ¿tienes ya, estás en, el, en la plataforma? Eh, fíjese, Jenny, que yo ya lo hice. Yo también. U no, usted también. Ah, sí, ok. Pero si, para practicar más. <risa> No sé, si usted lo gusta, podemos hacerlo también. Sí, sí, para, para, para por lo menos practicar la escritura y después no, pues hacerlo. Está bien, entonces. Okay, vamos a ver si, ya, la... si ya lo hicieron, lo que pueden hacer Ajá. es uno que haga las preguntas y el otro que haga las respuestas. Por ejemplo, ah, Jenny le puede preguntar a Danilo las preguntas que Jenny hizo y Danilo sí. se, las, se las responde. Y viceversa, vemos que está Vanessa Mendoza en el grupo. Hola, hola Vanessa, bienvenida. Hola Vanessa. ¿Hicieron esa parte? No, y usted sí, no. No, 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 sí, me equivoqué. Hizo. Sí, es la 4.13. ¿4.13? Sí. Ah, ok. Sí, yo ya la hice, pero creo que... Ha... Tengo que hacerla otra vez. 
No sé. ¿No? Yo creo que el teacher dijo que había que hacerlo, pero yo ya lo hice. No, si usted ya lo hizo, no creo que sea necesario. Entonces lo va a hacer usted ahorita. Sí, sí, sí. Ok. Ya no digo nada. Okay. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what I would like for us to do is I want you to give me some examples. Give me your examples. Hello? Hello, hello? Hello, teacher. Oh, oh, pensé que no me escuchaban. Okay, I would like for you to give me your examples, please. ¿Quién me puede dar un ejemplo de la pregunta que hizo? Un ejemplo. Yo, teacher. Okay. Um, sería. Uh, are you cooking dinner? Okay. Are you cooking dinner right now? No. Very good. Another example. Uh, me? Yes. Oh, I? Yes. Are you playing soccer right now? Are you playing soccer right now? Very good. Another example? They are playing soccer. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, repeat. They are Ok, creo que dijo, are they playing video games? Pienso que algo así dijo, casi no se le escuchaba. Ok, one, another example. Uy, are you speaking are you speaking english 
Creo que eso dijo. Another example. Are they singing songs? Repeat, are they? Are they singing? Are they sleeping? No, singing, es cantando. Ah, singing, singing, okay. Uh -huh. es aquí está lloviendo fuerte, casi no se escucha. Are they singing a song? A song, excellent. All right, another example. Are we learning English? Very good question. Are we learning English? Are we learning English? Are we learning English? Por ahí pusieron, are you playing football? Are you playing football? Pero en este caso vamos a poner soccer porque en inglés football es soccer. <clears throat> uh, one more, another question. Is he doing well? Are you doing your homework? Are you doing your homework? Okay, thank you. One more question. Okay. Are Are you eating dinner? Oh, okay. Are you studying Japanese? Okay. Okay. Vamos a trabajar con estas 11. Vamos a practicar eh, Fluency y speaking. Un alumno va a hacer las preguntas y el otro le va a responder. Un alumno va a hacer las preguntas y el otro alumno le va a responder. Les voy a compartir estas preguntas en el chat de... Zoom, para que todos la tengan. Eh, ahorita no se los puedo mandar al chat del WhatsApp porque no tengo teléfono. Así que si alguien lo puede mandar al grupo, fuera genial. Sin embargo, yo aquí se los mandé al grupo del WhatsApp. Perdón, del chat de Zoom. All right. Uh, at this moment, does anybody have any questions about the activity? At this moment, do you have any questions about this activity? No, teacher. No. All right, let's go. Ya practiquemos, pues, vaya, ahorita. Como somos tres, ¿cómo nos dividimos? Esta y mitad. Eh, si quiere. Ay, ¿cómo sería la respuesta? No, no, no. 
No porque dice ellos, o sea, si ellos están ah, cantando sí, una canción, sí, sí, pero, ajá, entonces eh, sería... Eh, no, they are. No, they? They are. No, no, they are not. Eh, are you learning English? Sería... ¿Qué es? Yes. Bueno, ahí puede ser sí o no, ¿verdad? No importa. Sí. sí. Entonces, yes, we are. Mm -hmm. Are you playing soccer? No, I am not. Are you doing your homework? ¿Qué significa doing? ¿Estás haciendo tu tarea? Mm, ¿Tu tarea okay. um, yes, I am. Okay. Are you eating dinner? No, I am not. Are you studying Japanese? No, I am not. Okay. I'm not right. Okay. Are you cooking dinner right now? Right no, now? I'm not. No, I'm not. Are you playing soccer right now? No, I'm not. Are they playing video game? No, I'm not. No, they aren't. Okay. Are you speaking English? Yes, I am. Are they sleeping? Uh, no, I'm not. I guess they. Uh huh. Are they sleeping? Uh, they, uh, uh, no, they are, they are. Okay. Are they singing a song? Yeah. Are we linear English? Um, yeah. Are you playing soccer? No. No, I'm not. Okay, are you doing your homework? Yes, I am. Are you eating dinner? Yes, I am. Are you studying Japanese? No, I am not. Okay, repetimos. ¿Perdón? ¿Le repetimos? Sí, 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 ahorita pregunté. Ajá. Are you cooking dinner right now? No. Uh -huh. Okay, we're going Are they singing a song? Uh, yes, they are. Are we learning English? Yes, we are. Okay. Are you playing soccer? No, I am not. Bueno, ahí sería no, not. Sí. I, no, I am not. Sí, o no. Uh -huh. I am not. Uh -huh. are... Sí, puede decir no, I am not, o no, I'm not. Las dos. Ok, gracias. Ajá, si la quieres poner con la abbreviation, no, I'm not, o no, I am not. Las dos están aceptables. Ok. okay. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you are you doing your homework? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Are you eating dinner? Yes, I am. Okay. Are you studying Japanese? No, I am not. Okay. Ahora, si quiere, volvemos. Si se le vuelve a preguntar. Y uh -huh. yo le respondo para que vayan más rápido. Bueno. Are you cooking dinner right now? No, I'm not. Are you playing soccer right now? Mm, yes, I am. Are you still playing video game? No, they are not. Okay. Are you speaking English? Yes, I am. 
are they sleeping? Yes, they are. Are they studying? Ah, no, learning is aprender, ¿verdad? That's sí. right. Learning is aprender y studying is estudiando. Es estudiando. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Thanks. That's Teacher, right. Le Art. comentaba a, a, a Vanessa que si uno quiere poner una pregunta como con los nombres de, de dos sujetos, como en el ejemplo que dice ya, eh, Jason y Richard, uh -huh. y quiere poner Jason y Richard are playing Xbox, es correcto. That's correct. Y si y lo puedo haces en... No, uh -huh. es, que, es que si lo escribís, es que si decís Jason y Richard are playing no estás haciendo pregunta. Ahí estás diciendo que Jason y Richard están jugando video games. Ah. Pero si vos decís, are Jason y Richard, es ahí cierto. sí ya es pregunta, porque primero va el verbo to be verbo. en formato de la pregunta. Uh -huh. En formato de una oración afirmativa, primero va el sujeto y después va el verbo to be. Sí, es okay. cierto. Y se puede contestar así simple, Yes, they are. Yeah. That's right. Yes, they are. Or no, they aren't. Ah, oh, okay. Gracias, teacher. Sí, eso yeah. lo tenía, por eso no había terminado las preguntas. Okay, ahí está. <laughs> es cierto, cuando es pregunta se pasa el verbo al principio. All right, practice, practice, practice. Okay. Sí, es que ya las habíamos yeah. terminado, pero ya las practicamos. All right, practice, mm -hmm. practice, practice. Okay. Vamos a Entonces, si quiere, vuélvame a preguntar, Vanessa. All right, guys. Eh, veo que la mayoría ya terminó. Así que lo que vamos a hacer es, vamos a, a practicar con una pareja diferente. Veo que la mayoría ya terminó. So, lo que vamos a hacer es cambiar persona para practicar. Acuérdese que entre más lo practica, entre más lo pronuncia, más rápido va desarrollando su acento y su fluidez. Y solo lo va a hacer by practicing. Uh, in this moment, do you have any questions? Alguien tiene una pregunta que quisiera preguntar, digamos, teacher, ¿cómo se dice esto? No, no, no lo pudimos ver. Eh, alguien que tenga esa pregunta, por ejemplo, te puedo preguntar yo, ¿está lloviendo? ¿Cómo digo yo? ¿Está lloviendo? ¿Cómo te pregunto yo? ¿Está lloviendo en inglés? This is raining. Very good, Carla Arevalo. That is correct. Is it raining? Is it raining? Is it raining? All right. Está lloviendo. Teacher, eh, y sería, disculpe, la, la pregunta sería correcto preguntar, it's raining? No. No. No, no porque allí no es pregunta. Si vos decís, ahí decís, it's raining. raining, no es pregunta, porque pusiste el it antes. El it es el sujeto. Para que sea pregunta, primero tiene que ir el verbo to be. Is, are, is or are. Ok, thank you, teacher. Yeah. Ok, vamos a cambiar de parejas y vamos a... Continuar la práctica. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Ok. Vamos a cambiar. Si le toca a la misma persona, por favor, levante la mano para ir a moverlo. Pero se supone que todos ya están movidos. Let's go.
No, I am not. Hola, we. ¿Hay alguien más? Sí, creo que se unió. Ah, ahí está. Ok, we. we. Bueno, entonces... Me tocó. Bueno, entonces una pregunta a cada uno. Yo las pregunto y uno contesta uno y el otro otro. Ok, entonces, ¿quién va a contestar Ahora, primero? Él o yo. Se usa una y una. Usted ya contestó la primera, que contesta la segunda y usa la tercera, ya sí. Ok. Bueno, are you playing soccer right now? With... Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. Are they playing video games, Vanessa? Uh, yes, they are. Are you speaking English with? Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. Are they sleeping? Uh, yes, they. Yes, they are. Are they singing a song? Yes, they are, or no, they are not. Are we learning English with and Vanessa? Yes, we. Yes, we are. When <laughs> yes. <laughs> are you playing soccer with? Yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Are you doing your homework, Vanessa? Yes, I am. Are you eating dinner? Yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Are you studying Japanese, Vanessa? No, I'm not. I am not. <laughs> bueno. Okay, ahora eh, pregunta a quién. Puedo preguntar yo. Sí. Okay. Una y una, entonces. Eh, ok, primero, Vane, are you cooking dinner right now? Uh, no, I'm not. Ok, eh, Will, are you playing soccer right now? No, I'm not. Ok. Are they playing video games? Uh, no, I'm not. Are you speaking English? Yes, I am. Are they sleeping? No, they are not. Are they singing a song? No, they are not. Are we linear English? Uh, yes, we are. Are you playing soccer? No, I'm not. Are you doing your homework? Yes, I am. Are you eating dinner? No, I'm not. Are you studying, studying Japanese? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, ¿cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Studying, creo. No, japonés. Japanese. Ah. Japan, Japanese. No, Japa. Japanese. Nice. Okay. Japanese. Right, I will Vaya, pues te voy a preguntar a las dos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Este, bueno, las dos se llaman Vanessa, ¿verdad? <laughs> eh, Vanessa Mendoza. Are okay. you cooking dinner right now? Uh, no, I'm not. Oh, yeah, uh, ¿Me escucha? ¿Disculpe? Sí. Ok. Uh, uh, sorry, es, uh, acabo de ingresar, la verdad. Eh, no sé si tiene lo que están haciendo, y disculpe. Es, estamos practicando un diálogo. Bueno, en sí, preguntando, perdón. Ok. Acaba de entrar a la clase. Sí, la verdad que sí. No pero sé si tiene le... las preguntas en le... el chat o... Sí, en el chat está. Ok. 
A ver. No me aparecen en el chat. Usted está en el de 9 a 10, ¿verdad? No, el de las 8, pero por cuestiones uh -huh. de trabajo no he podido conectarme. Oh, yo creí. Sí. No le aparece eh, en el chat, entonces. Eh, no, no me aparece en el chat. Pero bueno. En el chat del WhatsApp están, ahorita se las voy a mandar otra vez. Y también eh, están gracias, en tío. el chat, y también están en el chat del WhatsApp también. Pero ahorita se las mando otra vez. Oscar okay. Guairo, aquí está. Plap. Ok, thank you. Sí. Si gusta, comenzamos. Ok, entonces le pregunto. Are okay. you cooking dinner right now? Uh, yes, I... No Repetimos. Sé. Sí. Vaya, pues pronto estoy de nuevo. Bueno. Um, are you cooking dinner right now? No, I am not. Are you soccer? Bueno, la vamos a contestar en des, a preguntar en desorden. Are you playing soccer? No, I am not. Are they sleeping? Yes, they are. Are you doing your homework? Yes, I am. Are they singing a song? No, they aren't. Um, are they playing video games? Yes, they are. Are you eating dinner? Yes, I am. Um, are we learning English? Yes, we are. Are you are you studying Japanese? No, I am not. Creo que ya estuvieron todos. Ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, pues Creo que sí. preguntamos de nuevo. Sí. Ahora okay. we. Ah, no, ya nos vamos. De la... Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Please. Two volunteers. Carla. Very good, Carla. I want you to ask the questions. And one more volunteer respond to the question. Nancy Sanchez. All right. Carla, ask the question. Nancy, respond to the question. Action. Are you cooking dinner right now? No, I'm not. Are you playing soccer right now? No, I'm not. Are they playing video games? Yes, they are. Are you speaking English? Yes, I am. Are they sleeping? No, they are not. Are they singing a song? Yes, they are. Are we learning English? Yes, we are. Are you playing soccer? No, I'm not. Are you doing your homework? Yes, I am. Are you eating dinner? No, I'm not. Are you studying Japanese? No, I'm not. Teacher. Okay, now vice versa. Now Nancy asked the question and Carla respond to the question. Okay, are you cooking dinner right now? Yes, I am. 
Are you playing soccer right now? No, I'm not. Are they playing video games? No, they aren't. Are you uh, speaking English? Yes, I am. Are they sleeping? Yes, they are. Are they singing a song? No, they aren't. Are we learning English? Yes, we are. Are you playing soccer? No, I'm not. I had soccer. Okay. Are you oh, eating? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> are, are you doing your homework? Yes, I am. Are you eating dinner? No, I'm not. Are you studying Japanese? Yes, I am. Oh, cool. <laughs> nice. All right. Good job, girls. Carla and Nancy. Okay. Now, guys, time is up. <laughs> so we're going to stop right here. We're going to stop right here. And obviously, you can continue working on the platform. If not, we will continue tomorrow. Good night. Good Goodbye. Night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow.